Okay, we're at the uh, Pikes Peak Marathon Expo in Manitou Springs. It's Friday, talking to Christina Mascarena. She's going to race on Sunday in the marathon. And uh, Christina, you finished third last year. You beat your goal time. Was that, uh, did that get a little bit of a surprise last year? It was a huge surprise. Yeah. I thought aiming for under five hours was impossible, but I wanted to hope and dream, and I trained really hard, and I was shocked when yeah. I came down it. And your time, time was? 4.51 and some change. And how did it feel to uh, stand on that podium in third place? Surreal. To stand next to Kim Dobson and Anita Ortiz, those are, I mean, trail running legends, so that was amazing. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. And back this year and um, train differently, uh, do anything, um, you know, maybe to try to improve your time or any ideas on race strategy that might be different? Yeah, so I did a lot more uphill work, so really trying to get my legs stronger so that way I didn't have to run down so hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> the downhill beat you up a little bit? A little bit. I was crawling for a few days. Yeah. So. Well, yeah, well, that's, uh, that's a long ways down. Um, any um, uh, advice to people who are, uh, you know, doing the marathon and have to, have to run down and maybe not be used to that? Um, yeah, just trust your feet. So when you start to second guess what you're doing, a lot of times people will fall or do weird things. So pick a line and go for it and just really trust what you're doing. Yeah, exactly. So um, do you have a plan for uh, this year's race? Yeah, I'm going to just try and take it easy all the way up until about bar camp and then just try not to lose too much time above tree line and then get down as fast as I possibly can. Yeah, and when you uh, dream of finishing the uh, Pikes Peak Marathon um, this year, what's, uh, how's the dream end? Oh, the dream end would be top three hopefully and yeah. um, get a PR, so yeah. under 450 would be great. That's awesome. Now you come from a very athletic family. Um, and you're just telling us about some of the history. Your grandparents, what were their names? Uh, June and Eldon Cornish. So yeah. they grew up running this and they would go up and down the cog and um, it's just been always been a part of our family. They were Pikes Peak runners. They were Pikes Peak runners. That's yep. awesome. Do you remember telling them any, telling stories about it? <laughs> um, more stories about them racing down the tracks on their little carts. Oh. So, oh. then running, but yeah. that's okay. Yeah, I've heard about this. Yeah, they were in the paper a few years ago. That's great. And you're relatively new to uh, mountain running. What got you interested? Uh, my brother got me interested. I'm actually new to running, so I've been running for about three years. And the trail is just way more fun than the road. You can eat Sour Patch Kids and hang out. Yeah. You can't really do that on the road. So. <laughs> Running three years and last year you're third in the Pikes Peak Marathon. It was how a did, good year. <laughs> how did that happen? Uh, hard work and chasing, chasing some fast people up the hill and just training hard. In your training, do you met, go by miles or... Uh, just uh, amount of time you put in training and just tell us a little bit about that. Uh, I go by miles and effort. Yeah. So if I'm running far, I run easy. If I'm running short, I try and run pretty hard and intense. Yeah. And I, enough recovery. I think that's where people don't spend enough time is healing and recovery. Uh, so take us through a uh, training week as you're building up to, um, to Pikes Peak. Uh, so Monday I would do speed work flat somewhere on the Santa Fe area track just to try and get some turnover on my legs. And yeah. then the next day I would rest, run really easy. Yeah. And then the following day I would do hill repeats. Yeah. So either race up Rampart Range three miles as much as I could or three minute hill repeats. Yeah. And then the next day I would rest really easy uh -huh. and then I would do a long run. So I started in Cheyenne Canyon um, just so I didn't burn out on bar. And yeah. then when it got closer to the race I would spend way more time on bar trail. So try yeah. to summit once a week um, for three or four weeks straight. Yeah. And, Things like that. How much time have you spent at altitude this year? Not as much time as I did last year. So yeah. I've done three summit runs and I've gone to the top twice. Yeah, gotcha. So not too much, five times. So. All right. So, so you grew up here. You got the family history. When you tell me what just the mountain Pikes Peak means to you. Oh, it just means. It's just kind of a symbol to work hard and achieve like what you can and to just not let anybody dictate what you can and can't do. Yeah. So if you want to do it, go out and do it. Yeah. You know, yeah. so family and working hard. Got it. That's awesome, man. Thanks a lot. Thank you.